Tired of clicking your mouse multiple times to trim a clip or remove a clip from your timeline? PowerDirector includes a feature called Ripple Editing, which automatically adjusts clips on your timeline when a change is made to the start or end of a clip. So today, I'm going to show you how to enable and use Ripple Editing in PowerDirector 365 to speed up your editing workflow. I have a project on my timeline that I worked on before, and right now Ripple Editing is not enabled. When ripple editing isn't enabled, every time you trim a clip, you get to select how you want the timeline to behave. So if I place my cursor here to trim this clip and hold down my left mouse button, if I drag it to the left, you'll see that you get three options. Trim only, trim and move clips, and trim and move all clips. So if we select trim only, we'll have a gap there. If I do control Z on my keyboard, it's going to undo that. And if I place my cursor here to trim it again, hold down my left mouse button and trim it. If I select trim and move clips, it's going to move the clips on that one timeline track. If I do control Z and undo that and then trim it again, if I select trim and move all clips, it's going to move all the clips on all the timeline tracks. So let's go ahead and do control Z and undo that. When you delete a clip, you get the same options. So if we click on the trash bin, you'll see remove and leave gap, remove and fill gap and remove fill gap and move all clips. So basically it'll do the same thing you just saw when we trimmed the clip. So I'm not going to do that again and waste your time. Now, I'm going to show you how ripple editing works, but before we make some waves, I need you to click the like button, subscribe to power director university and click the bell. So you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Ripple editing reduces mouse clicks by keeping all clips in sync. When you remove or trim a clip, let's go ahead and enable it. You want to go up to preferences. You want to go to editing. And then you want to check the box that says enable auto ripple editing for remove slash trim. Once you're done, click on OK. Now, once you enable ripple editing, a ripple editing icon appears above your timeline. So let's trim that same clip on track one. Place our cursor here, hold on our left mouse button and trim it. And it moved everything over on all the timeline tracks. Now let's delete the clip. We'll left click on the trash bin. Now it deleted the clip and the title underneath it, but let's say I wanted to keep the title. I'm going to do control Z to undo that. And now I'm going to left click on the turn auto ripple editing off icon. Now, if I delete this clip, it keeps the gap. You can replace this with another clip, or if you wanted to, you can close the gap. If you right click in the gap and then you can select remove and move clips on the same track and it moved all the clips on the same track, left everything on track to where it was. And if I do control Z, and I right click that again and I can select remove and move all clips after removed gap and it'll move that and everything on every timeline track over. For some reason, the ripple editing feature only works on clips you have on track one. So I'm going to do control Z to undo that change, do it again, bring that clip back. So now I'm going to turn the ripple editing icon back on. I'm going to left click on an empty part of my timeline and then I'm going to do control a, which will select all of the clips. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over one of these clips and drag everything down one track. So now there's nothing on track one. So now if I select the second clip and I trim it, you see that Nothing happened, even though ripple editing is on. 
That's because I'm on track two and it's not going to do any ripple editing unless I'm on track one. So if I do control Z, fix that back, left click on an empty track, do control A and drag everything back up to track one. Now, if I left click on the clip and I trim it, you'll see that everything's going to move over. If you want to know how to make your viral videos incognito with AI voiceovers, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.